Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I will show you how to install Git Bash in Windows operating system. So this Git Bash will offer in other OS as well, so which is compatible with uh, Mac and uh, Linux. And this Git Bash is a Unix command line shell. So it comes with an useful uh, Unix commands like cat, ssh, scp, etc. And which is not usually found on our Windows. So we need to install this using uh, internet. So let's start it. Let me open Chrome browser and type for git down git bash download. So here is a git bash. So git smc dot com. So this is the link. So click on it. And here you will see download page where you can download Mac OS, Linux and Windows. So I'm using Windows. So let's click on Windows. And here it offer 32 bit and 64 bit. So my system is 64 bit. So automatically 64 bit got triggered and it has been in getting installed into my system. So let's wait till it download and we'll launch that exe file. And this git offers a very good uh, useful uh, stuff for uh, developers, testers and also DevOps engineer to maintain and manage source code management where our code will be managed and it offers good version control too. If you are uh, pushing a version, I mean we have an one stable version called version 1 and you are pushing a version 2. So in version 2 you got mess up and in the production environment you got many issues coming up then you need to revert back so this uh, github offers that kind of uh, uh, benefits where you can reverse to the stable version and you can revert to the stable version so my git has been downloaded so let's click on this git bash even we can manage uh, with svn2 but uh, this git bash i mean this github offers very good like i said version control so version control is a main important so what so here it's a setup window came for git bash so these are all thumbs so once we are read all thumbs and condition then we need to click on next and we need to select the location so currently it is in c drive so i'm clicking on next and you here you need to select uh, uh, select and unselect based on your requirement and i am saying windows explorer integration git bash here and git ui and let's click on next so this is the name so it is saying to setup will be created so the shortcut in the menu so in case if you wanted to uh, give some other name you can provide that too so for now i am using the git and click on next and this is the window in case you wanted to use vim then you can select and uh, say configure that so here you can do that thing and uh, i'm not selecting anything so i'm using this kit default editor click on next and uh, here we have let git decide and we have override also so in case if you wanted to do some overriding of default branches then you can select this one option and I'm using the default one so let's go next and here you have a git bash so use git bash only and you have a git bash from command line so use this use git and optional unix tool from command prompt so you need to select this option click next and here you have use open SSL libraries and use native windows secure channel libraries so use this open SSL library and again you will have this uh, check out uh, window style and uh, commit unix style line endings so we have check out as so these are all things we have so i am selecting this option only and click on next and here you have use minute and um, which is the default terminal for uh, ms ys2 so in case if you wanted to use uh, windows default console window you can use that too and click on next and we have a default and fast and merge so you can use this one default 
and here we have a create a git credentials manager core and we have a git credentials manager so you can select any of this option and the last you have enable file system cache and enable symbolic links so i'm using enable file system caching i'm not using the symbolic links and in the last you will have enable experimental support for sudo consoles so in case if you want this you can uh, click on this option and go to install so these are the basic options that we need to provide uh, to install this git bash So it will take some time. So git hash, git bash helps us to push our code from local repository to the GitHub location. And we can do uh, from other locations as well like using a GitHub desktop application where I have uh, shown you how to install that in the previous tutorial you can refer to that I will provide the link in the description section and we can push the source code from our local machine using a uh, IntelliJ and Eclipse IDE from there also we can uh, push our code to github so that I will show in upcoming tutorials In case if you are unable to find this github uh, I mean git bash then you can install the community version in that community version also you will find this kind of uh, git bash tool over there so in case if you want to launch git bash you can click launch git bash and click finish then our installation part is done then you will see the git bash UI so let's minimize this and this is the git bash UI so this is how it looks like and in case if you want to initiate git init so it's a git initiate so initializing the empty git repository so I will show you how can you push this code from local repository to the github location using git bash so I will show that part in the upcoming tutorials so thank you for watching in case if you have any questions please do post in the comment section thank you for watching